In this tutorial, we're going to look at the line tool in InDesign. So first of all, I'm going to uh, compare my rendition of the Daily Telegraph to the version I've downloaded here. Now we can see there are different lines placed to box off sections nicely. And if I go to View, Screen Mode Preview, you can see I've not got any lines on my page just yet. So the line tool, to quite simply describe, allows you to create lines across your page. You've got the option to change the thickness of your line. You'll notice the line I've created isn't quite straight as well. So if I delete that, a top tip is if you hold down shift while creating your line, it'll be either vertical, horizontal, or at 45 degrees. So I'm going to create a line across here as per example. This goes right the way from the shoulder there to the end of the page there. So using my selection tool, I'll just bring this up to the edges and I'll move that up so it lines up with the bottom of the pictures like so. Also, in this example, you'll see there's a double line located between the headline and the Daily Telegraph logo. So to create a double line, I simply hold down Shift, create the line like so, and on this drop-down menu here, I've got the option to choose what kind of line I want to use. So I use a double thin line. Let's increase that to two points. And zoom in slightly to see how that looks. Let's try three points. So if I go to View, Screen Mode, Preview, you can see I have two lines there and a line at the top. 